Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Football Manager 2019 with Zebu Nation and today we bring to you the 2022 North American Champions League. This is the semi-finals first leg between Cincinnati and Monterey team we're a little bit familiar with as you can see here they have one win versus us in the last one time we played each other and that one time we played each other was in the champions cup last year monterey defeated fc cincinnati so we're out for a little revenge in this game and this uh, series as a whole hopefully more than just this game but anyway they are five to four favorites they're coming in decent form three draws and two losses in their last five game or no Take that back. Three draws and two wins in their last five games, whereas we have three wins and two draws for, I guess, calculated out to be strong form. Even though, you know, we played some iffy games in there. Those two draws were a little bit weak, but, uh, you know, whatever. We'll take it. If they're going to give us the, fav the uh, edge in somewhere, we'll take it. Now, both teams have a couple players uh, missing and unregistered. They have one injury. Hugo Gonzalez is doubtful with a damaged cruciate ligament. Meanwhile, for us, Andrew Carlton, the big acquisition this season, is doubtful with a twisted ankle. As I mentioned, we are playing away at BBB, BBVA Stadium in Monterey. 46,000 tickets sold out of 49,000 capacity, so just about a sellout. 73 degrees, sunny and breezy. Should be a nice day. If you're uh, unfamiliar with Monterey from last time we played them, they are a very, very good team, good franchise. They have a illustrious history, as you can see here, from all the championships they have. Five First Division championships, four Mexican Cups, two Interliga, Mexican Champions Trophy, North American Cup Trophy, North American Champions League four times. How about that? They've won the Superliga, the Second Division, and... One and only Champions Cup, which, as I mentioned, they defeated us for that. But yeah, they've got a very strong side. Jonathan Gonzalez, the 22-year-old uh, international player, I guess. He's got three caps. He's a guy that uh, you know many USA fans should be uh, familiar with, or you know, maybe not. I don't know. They. Uh, he, uh, he joined Mexico instead of USA. There was a big to-do about that. Was it last year or two years ago? Anyway, Juan Roa at fullback. I mean, their defense is very solid. Uh, other than they have Jose Monreal back again, 19 years old this time. You know, he we looked at this guy last time we played them and thought he was going to be the weak link, but he played okay, so... He's not as weak a link as we thought, even though his star rating is pretty low. But other than that, you know, four star guys all up and down the roster. So we got, uh, you know, we got some issues going on there. Let's get to our team selection. Take a look. We got all of our starters in. Everybody's looking good. Uh, on the bench, we got the Hitman. We got Crispum, Miguel, Ars Jr., Patrick Lee, Torres, and Conroy. And that's because Duf is still unregistered. We can't register him. Registration is closed. So I don't know. He's just going to have to sit out Champions League. I mean, he's it's one of the reasons we brought him in was for Champions League. And now he's got to sit out. So that's a little disappointing. I guess we just got to get to him a little earlier. All right. So here we go. Servio in goal, 19 appearances, 16 concessions, so he can be scored on. Olazo, Medina, Guzman, Roa. Okay, so who do they got in there now? Carlos Guzman, 46 appearances. Wow, they play a lot of games. Pires in the midfield, 39 appearances. Zuccolini, Bruno Zuccolini. I remember this guy from the Champions Cup. There we go. Panzariello. I also remember him from the Champions Cup. Pizarro. Hmm. Andres Ibarguen. 
Oof, I don't know if that's how you pronounce that. He's only got 10 appearances, though. 29-year-old Colombian. Only have him 54% scouted. He's still pretty good. Okay, never mind. Forget that. And Jay Furch. Julio Furch up top. Again, only nine appearances. So they seem to have a little bit of a rotated side. We'll see. On our side, we got Hernandez in goal. Nuhu, Richards, Glad, Blackman, Alashi, Akechi, DeVries, Acosta back from injury. Hopefully he can stand up to the pressure. Sonora on the right and Pazbilko up top. So basically... Our starting lineup, minus the goalkeeper. Dressing room, hand over to the assistant. Opposition instructions. They are playing in their favorite 4-2-3-1, so we should know how to play against these guys. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Okay, let's go. Kickoff, nearly a sellout, looking good. A couple empty seats there in the front row. All right, let's get some revenge. Let's get an early goal this time. Get out in front. That would be nice. I mean, last game was an exciting game we played against these guys. I think they beat us 3-2 to two in the cup. Came right down to the end. Let's see if we can have something similar. Should encourage our players to try a short passing play. Okay. I can get down with that. I'll take some early advice from the coaching staff. Considering we can't really see what's going on. Only 42% possession. That's not good. Here we go. Throw in Blackman far side. Lashy heads it down to the wrong team. And here comes Monterey on the attack. Ibarguen going forward. I really don't know how to pronounce that. Pizarro. Oh, great stop, Hernandez. Great stop. Good defense by Blackman. That'll get the boys fired up. I thought that was a goal for sure until Hernandez stopped it. We got to keep an eye on this Panzariello character. Roa coming way forward on the overlap. Okay, that's good. Good coverage. Good coverage. Roa sends it in. That's not going anywhere. I take it back. Uh, you know, defense played pretty well there until that final cross just kind of went weird. Who's out of position? Our defensive midfielder, maybe? I don't know. That's not what we wanted. We wanted an early lead, not an early deficit. Here they go again. Ybar Gwen getting uh, to the spot, but good save by Hernandez. Hernandez is getting, uh, getting tested. You know, this, this should be nothing new to him, being a Mexican international himself. He's faced uh, this kind of competition before. Maybe there's a reason he was a backup. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Not good. We need to get an away goal, though. Regardless of what happens, we need an away goal. Blackman is not feeling too good. All right, boys, uh, demand more. Here we go, DeVries sends one in. Richards with a header, easy goal. Where was the goalkeeper? Is that him in the, no? He's in the all white, okay. Let's keep an eye on him. I didn't even see him. Was he going for the ball? Let's take a look. So here he is right there. No, Richards just beat him to the punch. Great play. That's like how you draw it up. So there we go. We got one back before the half ended. So that gives us a little life. Decent amount of shots. That's fine. Okay, we'll close down on Olazo. Uh, 
Oh, there we go. Get him out of there. Slight injury for Ibarguan. We won't have to try to pronounce that name anymore. Two minutes of added time. Pizarro's down to 61% as well. So they could get both those guys out of there. That would be wonderful. I mean, it's not like they don't have more four-star guys coming off the bench, but still. It's the thought that counts, right? All right, so 2-1 at half. It's not so bad. Is there anything tactics-wise to do? Uh, you know, I think things got better when we went to the shorter passing. So we'll stick with that situation. We'll just go to the dressing room. We'll just try to fire them up. Pep talk. Passionate. Um... I know many of you are anxious to avenge what happened before. Yes. That's always the classic talk. Let's go. <sighs> we don't have Carlton to save us off the bench. Here we go. This is what we need. We need Acosta to get involved. Ooh, that was bad. Um, okay. Okay. We still need Acosta to get involved, regardless of that situation. You know, 6.3 ain't going to do it, my bro. You know, he's our best player. He needs to do some business. You know, Ketchy also not playing very well. Here we go. Servio boots one downfield. Let's win the header. There we go, New Who. Not exactly what we wanted, but we're keeping him on their side of the park. Momentarily, great pass. Ibarguen with a cross. Oof. Maybe that injury um, caused the cross to go a little bit behind his man. You never really know how these injuries are played out in the 3D match engine, if at all. It, you know, whether it just reduces their abilities a little bit or... I don't know. Reduces their chances to make big plays. Who knows? 2-1's not bad. It would be awesome if we could even it up before the game ends. Blackman not playing well. Costa not playing well. Those are guys we count on. I don't think... I guess we do have a sub for Blackman. Torres. Bring him in there. And then Acosta, I mean, Crispin played really well in our last game out in MLS. He had, he had a hat trick. How about that? <clears throat> it's right after he came to me and asked for more playing time. I'm like, yeah, you're going to get more playing time. Durr. But we gave him more playing time, and then ooh, he scored a hat trick. So maybe he can come in, and he can be the hero off the bench. The hero that we need, Torres, not the hero that we need. That was a bad header, and now he's a little slow of foot. Can't get back. Can't get back the cross. That's the risk we take. Taking Blackman out. I mean, Blackman is such an athlete. He would not have gotten beat like this. I mean, look at... Look at... Mm. Mm. Not happy about that little turn of events. Torres. I mean, he's got 14 pace, 15 acceleration. He's no slouch himself. He should have... What is this? Sonora. Eek. That's no good. So we're going to have to bring in Miguel. Not somebody I expected to see time. Here, but you know, the Brazilian uh, youngster, he's getting better. He's getting better by the day. Look at his composure, has jumped up to 10. Still has 16 finishing. I mean, he's a striker, but we're training him up at the wing, so we'll see. He's only a two star winger currently, but he is talented, so get that extra talent on the field. Any way that you can. 81 minutes. Let's push forward. 
Let's go. Attack. Do something. <sighs> We've used our three subs, and Torres is playing just as bad as Blackman. Panzariello, five minutes of stoppage time. Mm, no more goals, please. No more goals, please. Thank you, Richards. Bombs it forward. Get the steal. Prisbilko, great steal. Great steal. He's got the youngster trailing him. Get it to him. No, he crosses it to DeVries. Of all the people, he could have crossed that to Miguel. There he is. Was he offside? He was offside. I mean, he knows how to finish, obviously. He's just a tad offside. Yeah. What was that cross, though? He had he had lots of guys streaking down the middle of the field. And Prisbilko crossed it all the way across to DeVries, who's, like, standing still. That second goal would have gone a long way. Get out of here. Five minutes is up. There it is. Hmm. Not a great situation. Only three shots on target the whole game. Only 45% possession. Monterey came out and really sort of uh, handled us. I don't like to say it that way, but they did. They handled us. Not acceptable. Dressing room. Let us yell. Assertive. Not happy. Get out. Get out. Get fired up for the next game. Of course, the next game is Montreal. But we're not going to show that game. We're going to pause it here. Uh, let's see. Sonora. How bad? How bad is he injured? I missed that one. Three months with a torn knee ligament. Ouch. Well, I guess we know where Carlton's going when he gets back. He's going out on the right wing. Um, let's talk to Senora about this. Don't worry. Focus on your recovery. Blah, 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 blah. Injury list. We'll put him on the disabled list. So he'll be out for the next six games. Monterey ease to victory. Blah, blah, blah. All right. We're going to pause it here. Come back for the second leg where hopefully we can uh, bounce back. Pause. Okay. We are back for the second leg. Down three. One, not looking good. Let's get to the match preview. Should know by now who we're playing Monterey, but we are at FC Cincinnati Stadium. 24,641 tickets sold out of 25,000 capacity. So 359 tickets. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, we'll, we'll take that. We'll, we'll give those away at the door. That's no problem. All right, so what's the weather like? 55, breezy, partly cloudy. That's pretty good. We can deal with that. Eight yellow cards for Jair Marufo as the referee. That's reasonable. Um, we're suddenly dropped to inconsistent form now in our last five. We had a draw in our last MLS game and a loss, of course, in the first leg of this series. And they're up to decent form. So that's not good news um looks like they've picked up another injury as well lucas olaza doubtful with a twisted knee of course we've picked up serious injury with sonora Kobian's also out uh, you know a couple of little injuries here and there nobody in the starting lineup other than sonora team selection we did change our bench around a little bit Brought in Luke White, who's playing outstandingly well. 7.64 rating. So, uh, yeah, thought we'd bring him in off the bench. And you probably saw there we also have a new member of the starting lineup. Carlton back in. You're going to play him on the right-hand side. He's much more comfortable on the left or in the center. But we need him on the right wing, so we're going to play him on the right wing. And, uh, you know, he's 
just coming back from in injury. He's been back for about a week. So the doctor says to only leave him in for 75 minutes. That's fine. We can do that. Other than that, the lineup is the same. Hernandez, Nuhu, Richards, Glad, Blackman, Alashi, Akechi, DeVries, Acosta, Prisbilko. And their lineup, Servio, Ribeiro, nearly suspended at the left back position. Guzman, Medina, Roa, Pires, Zuccolini, Alvarado, Pizarro, captain, top goal scorer, 13 goals on the season. Panzariello back on the right-hand side, and Furch up top. So they're basically the same lineup as well. A couple of differences maybe, but none that necessarily stand out. All right, let's go. Position instructions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Kickoff. Let's go. We need that home team mojo. We need a 2-0 victory. That's what we need. 2-0. The very worst 3-1. Because that would be a draw. Anyway, here's a catchy. Let's go. Get in there. Yes. Second goal of the season for a catchy. They scored on us pretty similar in the last game. So we got some payback right there. So there we go. We got one back. Early, too. Three minutes, 45 seconds in. That gives us a little bit more life, boys. A little bit more, uh, a little bit more confidence. We should encourage a more direct passing play. I thought we were already pretty direct. Slightly direct. I mean, I guess we could go more direct. Here we go. 15 minutes. New who sends one in. Acosta heads it down. DeVries centering to a... Oh, Lash. Oh, oh. he should have took his time with that one. He was so open. Take a little time, my friend. Oof. You know, scoring's not really his deal. He's done it before. But he is definitely a defensive guy. You know, he's... I hate to call him the weak link, but he is sort of the one guy that we could improve. The one position we could really improve would be defensive midfielder. Uh, he's sort of there just on personality, basically, because um, he's a team leader, and, uh, you know, he's a guy who's been with the club for a long time. He's about to break our record for most games in a Cincinnati FC jersey. 42 minutes, by the way. Blackman's been booked. Okay, here we go. DeVries, let's tie it up. Let's tie it up. Guzman to Glad. Glad deflects in. The goalkeeper. He um, lost his marbles right there. What was he doing? He's like picking daisies. The ball just sort of... He's like... Oh, he's got backache. Glad, doink. And the goalkeeper just watches it go in. Nothing he could do about that one, apparently. Yes, evened it up. Oh, no, Alvarado. Get out, get out, get out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Tremendous first half. Five shots, three on target, two goals. That's what you're looking for. 46% possession is still a little iffy, but... Um, if we're going to score two goals, then I uh, can't complain. All right, dressing room, pep talk. Yeah, pleased. Let's go. Keep it up. Everybody's happy about that. Everybody's playing well. Akechi, 8.2. Look at the difference between home and away. Acosta still not playing great. Prisbilko also not playing great. You need those guys to step up. I don't want to sub them out necessarily. 
because we need to sub out Carlton at some point. That was terrible. Ooh, Lashy. Okay. Anyway, that was the first highlight. Let's go. One more goal. One more goal to victory. That would be amazing. Even this, even 2 0, right? Because we got an away goal. So we win on away goals if they don't get one. What was that? Analysis? Uh, no. Get out of here. Get out of here with that advice. We're just going to let the clock roll. Here we go, Roa. Get out. It's out. All right. Um. Acosta's motivated. It's time to get Carlton out of there, though. So we will bring in Crispum on the right. We know he can play that position just fine and dandy. And, you know, there's a possibility of bringing Miguel in for Prisbilko. But we'll save that for another time. Crispum in for Carlton. Let's go. Crispum. 65 minutes to victory. Can we pull off another stunning upset here in Champions League? Looks like they're trying to send in low crosses. Get those crosses out of here. They're a little tired. Here we go. Throw in Blackman. Tries to get it to Crispum. That was a bad throw in. Here comes Monterey on the attack. 73 minutes. Pizarro. Defense is back. Let's go. Roa. Cross midfield. They're toying with it. Waiting for the long bomb. That's going. No, Glad. What are you doing? Get it. 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 Oi. Oi. All right. <laughs> Prisbilko wins it to Alashi. Here we go. Costa. Let's matriculate the ball, boys. We haven't done any matriculation in a while. Blackman on the overlap. Gets it forward. Prisbilko nods it on. Oh, DeVries. DeVries. Oh, he almost pounced on that. That was a sneaky header. I thought he was just going to head that one on. Here's a catchy. Can he win it with a free kick? Can he win it with a free kick? He does. Third goal of the season. 4-3. Uh, if they get a goal, it's 3-1. Ty, we're going to overtime. So that's no good. But still, we are in the driver's seat right now. Up by a goal and a half. Our defense playing outstanding right now. A catchy 8.9 at the midfield. He is powering us to a victory. DeVries suddenly up to 7.5. Probably playing some good defense out there on the wing. I mean, look at that. Everybody. A catchy Alashi, Nuhu, Richards, Glad, Blackman, even Hernandez, 7.1. Defense is on point. Three minutes of stoppage time. Minute and a half. Minute. 30 seconds. Two seconds to go. There it is. Yes. Second leg comeback. Look at that. 3-0. This is what Mexican teams usually do to MLS teams, not the other way around. How about that turnaround? 13 shots, 10 on target, three goals. Wow. We really came through a catchy. I mean, two free kick goals, and then Glad with that crazy header that went in. Wow. What a game. Players should be extremely happy. We shall be passionately very pleased. We're in the finals. Congratulations. You completely deserve it. Yes. So this is three straight years in the Champions League final. Unbelievable. FC Cincinnati. 
Outstanding, boys. Yes, Akechi, you were superb in front of goal, I guess. Yeah, sure. Keep it up. I mean, not really in front of goal, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So there we go. Um, who do we play? That's the question. Did I even look and see who we play? Oh, look at that. New York City's up 3-1. We could play NYC FC. Could be all MLS final. Let's get to the next game. Oh, oh, look at the, what they're doing. They're saving the game. Must be saved for posterity. Yeah, we'll probably have to pause this or edit this out. Okay, we're back, and we're going to try to get to that uh, New York City game and see what uh, see if they can pull off the upset as well. That would be amazing, an all-MLS final. Let's see, let's see. Okay, competitions, Champions League. They still have not played their game. Come on. What is happening here? Are they playing are they waiting to play their game Thursday? No, that come on. Come on. You're just toying with my emotions here. Have they played it yet? You'd think we'd get an announcement. It's April thirteenth, that is today. Okay. Okay, we just got to like work our way through today. There we go. Here is the big game. Cruz Azul, New York City. Up two goals. Computer is calculating. Rolling some dice. Flipping some coins. Let's see Cincinnati to play New York City in the final. Look at that. I've got a good feeling. I mean, New York City's... They've been tough for the last two seasons. They've been pretty good. Renato's injured, though. That's good. I mean, you know... We've had some tough games against these guys. We know Vieto can score. Uh, we know they got guys who can score. John Kempen's not the greatest goalkeeper in the world. I mean, he's he's good, but... He's beatable. I think we beat them this year already, haven't we? Yeah, we played them just a couple games ago. Beat them 3-2. So they can give us a tough game. No question. But we got two games to beat them. And if we can pull off a 3-0 victory against Monterey, um, you know, I think uh, anything's possible against New York City. So there we go. We will come back next episode for the big Champions League final. So until then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.